Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Koi Fish and today we are taking the saying kill your darlings to the next level. That's right everyone. I will be the first to admit it. I have a problem. I play way too much hasty. So today we're gonna change that. This is the first episode in a multi-part series where we will be playing every start date and character in Crusader Kings 3. Starting from the struggle of Iberia, ending in Iberia in pieces. Very nice. I'm gonna make a video featuring each and every one of these characters. So that's gonna be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 videos. Now that I say it like that, that's absolutely insane. But hey, it's gonna be like a project. If you liked Isoro Productions A to C, then you will like to see me go absolutely insane playing every starting character. Now, who gets the honor to be the first? Although I did consider to play John Hasty because he's technically a starting character. I think I will do something even more impressive. You see, today I will be playing as Count Eudes. Count Eud? Count Eudes? Count Eudes? Count Eud here. Count Eudes here. I have no idea how you say this. So I'm gonna change how I say it, just depending on how I feel. Like a mood ring, I change colors and I mispronounce the name of this French boy. In July of 1866, the Viking raider Hastin slew Jude's father, Robert the Strong. You bastard. Mere months later, his mother Adelice died giving birth to his brother Robert. Wow, talk about a streak of bad luck. But hey, it gets worse. The world is uncertain and cruel, and the future is hard for these orphan boys. But they are destined to become the kings of France. That's a fate worse than death. Their descendants, the Capets, will rule France for the centuries to come. Can I navigate the treacherous politics of medieval France and fulfill the destiny of the Robertine brothers? And more importantly, avenge the death of my father and once and for all put a stop to Jarl Hastine. This time it's personal. So we're going in Iron Man mode, achievements enabled. That's right, everyone. No shitsy doodling. Let's go. Here we are in the wonderful world of Anju. Anju, Anju. Count Eudes cannot play the Banyu, but we do have a rival. That's right, Count Hastin of Montaigu. The rapacious adventure that not only killed my father, Robert the Strong, but also killed Koifish creativity, making him play the character over and over again. We have absolutely no troops. You know who has troops? <laughs> you should know it by now. We are in quite the predicament when we start. Here's our starting situation. We are a calm, zealous, and pensive lad. We have no man teaching us anything. So, we're gonna try to pivot Count Utes to become a murdering master machine. But the one thing we do have going for us is a whole bunch of claims, especially for the Duchy of Anjou. If we can claim that, then I'm sure we'll be able to climb our way up to become the King of France, because we're going for an achievement. Kings of the seventh generation, starting as Count Utes of Anjou, lead your dynasty to rule the kingdom of France. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now we could just do this, and crash Hastin right from the beginning, taking him out before he even has a chance to do anything. To do that, we're gonna need alliances. So, let's start by finding someone that can educate me. It's not often I start playing as a child, but it's very interesting. Now we need to pick who we're gonna go for. Eudes here, my namesake, he is my steward and knight. He's ambitious, arbitrary, and honest. He does have the elusive shadow education, being the highest you can get when it comes to the intrigue lifestyle. And a whopping 70 intrigue. Teach me everything you know, man. Right away, we will go and meet some peers. Oh no, oh no. Meet Pierce, a poor celebration. <laughs> no one come. This is gonna affect me for the future. Uh, I'm already stressed and I'm literally just 10 years old. That's not good. But also not good is the fact that Count Hastin is still alive. Oh well, let's see where he's going first. I see, he's going for the Jordan of Jorvik. Well, off you go, man. The further you leave, the better. I will kill you, Count Hastin. And your son Ragnar Hastin, son Hastining. And every son that he might prop out. Oh, no, 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 this is not a good thing. A plush carpet vibrant as of arrived from a... From the Count of Orléans? No. Do I keep it? Oh, that's not good at all. Uh, I'll sell it. Count Meginhard. <laughs> Dude, it looks like breathing for you is Meginhard as well. <laughs> Look at that nose. Bertha Robertine. She has ungodly amount of claims. Tell you what. How about we marry you matrilinearly to this Frenchman, huh? I want the Robertine dynasty to be powerful. Not just me. Oh, they... God, a kitten! I'm playing under you supervision, and suddenly I hear a sound. It's small and it's weak, but it's there. Just like my will to live. <laughs> I look under the bush, and I found a tiny kitten! Oh my god, cat? We'll name him Shadow. Oh, because it's cool, and he's a black cat, and oh my god. And that means I can pet Shadow. 
Oh my god! A puppy? Are you kidding me? That's the best day ever. Bro, we'll name him Grey because he's target. <laughs> That's the best day ever. <laughs> Dude, Robert, why are you so bossy? Gosh darn it, I don't want to die. <gasps> it's Hastin! Of course! It's not enough that you try to kill my father? You wanna kill me too? A little child? Like cats and dogs, no! Grey and Shadow are fighting. Listen, let them fight it out. That's the best way to do it. No! Oh my god! My cat ate my dog? Brutal. I like it. What the heck, dog? Why would you? Why would you eat my dog? That's, that's messed up. That's messed up. He's trying to take my county? Who's my leech? Bro, I'll help you. I will, I will, I will join your war. I won't let this bastard take my land. My father gave this land to me. Oh no, he's taking my capital. Uh, that's not good. I'm pranking this scaly priest. Oh my god, that, no. <laughs> no, Mitova, censor this. Ah, I cannot look. This is wrong. Why is the priest not wearing any clothes? Because I do, I took them. <laughs> I'll do it again and again and again and again. He gets no clothes. <laughs> Why would I do this? I'm so mean. I'm a man now. And I got calm, zealous, and diligent. And a decent education. It is time to get married. Do we go for the stable women or <laughs> do we go for women that will mess us up? Count dudes, you will date someone twice your age and that has the traits of an eager. But at least she's quick and calmly. How's the messiness? Hope through the sword. <laughs> I hope I can stick haste in through the sword. And let's get some traits going. We're gonna go with Skaldaggery, because after all, we're gonna go for it. Count Hastin, I'll fight you, but I'm no, by no means as strong as I need to be to do that. So I'll just murder you instead. Yes, give him a gift. A gift of gold sprinkled with <sighs> poison. <laughs> Count Utes is not below poisoning an old man, because that old man killed my father. Hastin, you killed my father. Prepare to die. Oh, he survived? Try again! Do it again! Oh, my cat gave me two dinars. <laughs> nice! I'm rich! Count Hastin is inspecting a ship. A long ship. That's anchored in one of the harbors in Lincolnshire later this week. It would be easy to have my agent drench the robot meant to ferry him into flammable liquid. Wait until it's just out in the middle of the harbor. Then launch a flaming arrow! And let the water claim him. That is a very clever idea, Hughes. Mmm, it will look like a viking funeral. Goodbye, Hastin. Goodbye. I have avenged my father! Hastin! The flaming arrow shot by my agent blazed a burning path across the harbor. <laughs> then only moments later, the whole boat was up in flames. Hastin, you will burn in hell, but first, burn in Lincolnshire. I have avenged my father! Now, to take my own revenge. Count Ragnar Hastin's son, my priest tells me, do not punish the son for the father's sin. But your father was Hastin. Prepare to die. Ragnar, let the mob take you. Goodbye, Ragnar! Oh, it's not looking good for them. It's not looking good at all. He's in prison, so he's an easy target. There's only two more hastening. Ali, Ali hastings on. And little Grima hastings daughter. I'm not below killing children. Oh, let the child be killed. <laughs> Earl Ali is mangled in prison. Very good. Now, just one more left. Countess Grima murdered the little child. Come on, can we win this war already? Oh, that's bad. If they win the siege before us, we lose. If we win it first, we win. No, they're taking the last one. <laughs> but luckily, Countess Grima, all things fall eventually. Kingdom, lords, children push for my places. <laughs> Goodbye. And with that child thudding into the ground, the Hastin dynasty is no more. I have killed every Hastin. You killed my father. I killed your dynasty. But that's not enough. I'll kill their mother too. No one associated with Hastin lets you live. Often white shirt. I'll kill you too. I hate Vikings. Wait, there was someone else involved with the slaying of my father. Hastin was raiding with King Bjorn. I will kill him. You associated with the wrong person. Wife pregnant? Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Oh, and we won. Very good. Nice. I keep my area too. Very great. Right. With my vengeance having been carried out, it is time to take over the king. Kingdom of France. And it's very easy. All we have to do is just conquer France. But to do that, well, we could stir up the pot a bit. Or we could start by at least becoming the Duke of Anjou. So let's do that. If I can get more troops than my leech, I can take him out. I could also give a bad omen to Bjorn Ironside. 
Hey, we're patient, so we can use wait. Anytime we wait, we increase our chance, which is good. We have all the time in the world. Oh, we're burning his wheat. Mmm. I right, try it. Come on, kill him. Oh, hey, we didn't get it. We will leave him be for now. We gave him some negative traits. Let's get a hook on the air. Prince Louis the Stammerer. He will become the king later. We will play them like a fiddle. But we can't be like this. Uh, our beard isn't really saying what we wanted to say. Am I hiding my shin because it's weak? Tell you what. There we go. Talk about the drip. Right. What we need is the Pope to like us more and for us to have a bit more prestige. That way, we can ask the Pope for money. With that money, we can get an edge over our leech to have more troops. But an alliance, it wouldn't be bad either. Perhaps Robert can help us. The strongest alliance we could get is a thousand men from the Duke of Luxembourg. And this child would not be bad for my child. Tell you what. Let's go for it. Now we have an ally. And we lost our cat? No. Oh, I'm not gonna skin him. I'll miss you, you crazy bastard. You killed my dog, you killed rats, and uh, you gave my wife hay fever. Not very good. But Robert, you are just like your little brother, my little brother, your uncle. Oh god, a problematic family structure. There we go. The Pope likes us more, and we can ask him for gold. Thank you very much, Pope man. Love the mustache. We got a lot of gold. This gold, we're investing it. Anjo, Anjo. My dearest half brother. What troops do you have? Pikemen. All right. What counters pike? Oh no, girls. <laughs> It's a type spearman. Armored footman. Right. The most expensive one. Well then, cough up the money. We're getting them. Good old knights. Fancy armor and all. And one more perk. Let's go for digging for dirt. We'll build up a whole network of secrets. Secrets can become hooks. And hooks can become power. Now we have two alliances. That puts us on a very, very strong level. Could we perhaps knock him down a bit? Maybe. But it's a risk. We should probably wait to get all of our armored footmen. Ah, here we go. <laughs> A few strongmen and an ominously worded letter to the next king, France. My dearest victim, <laughs> we cook a uh, loss of opinion. We'll do it. Listen, sir, uh, I'll make it up for you, don't worry. But I do have that hook on you, which could make me do a lot of fun stuff. Especially if he's king. That old man is gonna die eventually, which is good. Now, can I do this through a faction? Let's see if I can get any, any other men to help me. He does have some other vassals. They might want to join. Give me the duchy, dearest brother. Let's see here. What members could we add? The chancellor, huh? And a strong hook on it. All right, then. <laughs> Let's just make one. The source of this hook. I made it up. <laughs> oh, I'm making a divine focus. I've been having a recurring dream in which I discuss theology with Jesus, Fortuna, and St. Matthew. Oh, this sounds like a budding mental illness problem. But hey, I will not look a gift horse in the mouth or a weird nightmare. <laughs> In the, in the void. Let's talk to Jesus. And I get another perk. <laughs> kidnapper. That's an interesting one. You can do a lot of fun things with kidnapper. <laughs> a strong hook on Queen Engelberia. Oh, what happened? King Louis the Younger. Oh, I, I almost feel like we have to prune this tree, but... I need that perk first and then we'll kill him. Plunge it into chaos. Pope, give me more gold, please. Will you use it to further the Christian faith? <laughs> yes. Actually makes armored footmen to attack fellow Christians. <laughs> now I have become goaded with the sauce. I will start over. Weak hook will not help me. Strong hook is what I need. Tell you what. My dearest, dearest brother. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heckin' kidnap you. It's gonna take a while. I'll try it. Oh, secrets. I'm gaslighting the carling. <laughs> Come on, let it work. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. I will get my cousin. You are stupid. You are a carling. And your wife, uh, not loyal. <laughs> What have I done? What, what, did I just get this innocent woman into prison? Nice, nice. All right, let's pop into wealth focus to get golden obligations. That will let me get money for my hooks. Oh, I have a rival. That's not good. Followed by Shadow, sir. Huh? I wish I was followed by Shadow, but he's dead. The cat killed my dog and died. Refused to elaborate. <laughs> With much self-satisfied ceremony, my knight Gwilhem. You look awfully devious. Dude, that is a... That is a shin and a half. And I look like I'm... Oh my god, I'm so serious. He slams a bulging sack down before me. Oh no, this is some fan fiction stuff. I don't want to hear about your bulging sack. Look, he beats. No, stop. I empty its content. Precious metal, heirlooms and trinkets. Ooh. I convinced some of Count Thorgil's commoners. That their taxes were meant for you? Are we committing tax fraud? Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. All right. Let's be smart here. He has 1,200 troops. I have more. None of my allies are at war with anyone. So, uh, my leech, this is the time. Give me the Duchy of Anjou or give me death. All right, please, allies, you have to join. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, ooh, that would have been bad if you didn't. Let's see. He's coming up. 
So until he comes up, we're gonna sort of avoid him. Let's not get caught out here. Gosh darn it. His friend is coming up there. That's a problem. We join up with the people of Luxembourg. We take this dwarf. Uh, sure. I can take a dwarf. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> What am I supposed to do with that dwarf? Is this a joke? Is this a practical joke? I do not know. Ah, the classic. I'll, hi I'll, I'll send him a dwarf for hire. So let's go for his capital right away. That's gonna put pressure on him. No! Youths! My tooth. Uh, no, that's not the right tooth. No, it, it is youths. You no, my tutor. He taught me everything I knew. Now this woman can be my spy master instead. But she's so mean. I know. Let's take the dwarf instead. Tyrion Lannister looking lad. <laughs> All right, assault the fort. Ta-da! Now that is some troops. Do we have enough to march on him? We probably did before I actually started sieging like that. Merd. He actually doesn't hold that many holdings himself. Ooh, but he took that holding. That's bad. How many soldiers do we have? It's not enough. We shouldn't have done that. We should not have done that. Ooh, even better. Could we kill some of his allies? The bully of Flanders? Hell, you sound like a guy that needs to be killed. Dutchman? There we go. Lots of it taken. If we could just stand somewhere and regain our troops... While they start sieging and lose troops. Let's get my brother into court. I have an idea. It is most devious. I can marry him away to someone for an alliance, right? Of course. Perfect. My, my other cousin. And we'll call him into the war. And we'll win it easily. Oh, Charlotte the BC. <laughs> Are you BC? Or right, do you have time to be elaborated? Oh, but of course you go into my court. Absolutely, woman. Listen, this is absolutely unhinged. I'm gonna seduce you. Charlotte the BC, I want some witch children. Witch me up, woman. Here comes my ally. That's great. If we hold in Samur, Saumur, sounds like a Lord of the Rings location. He's gonna have to walk over. We'll wait for the ally. What happened to my spy master? No, you captured my dwarf. Give him back. All right, we'll make this mean woman the spy master. And that's a big risk. But I don't think I have any rivals right now that I have to worry about. Think smart think hard here. If I siege this holding, I win. That's all I need to siege. Quickly! We're gonna bank on it, right? We're gonna absolutely bank on it. Because when he doesn't have any holdings left, Dutchy, county, county, county. Right, take it quickly! Sometimes you gotta be devious. Real devious. And this is what I call a devious lick. Let's kill this man. He's my cousin, right? But... He's too powerful, isn't he? Can't go around having a man of that power. Like Kanye West said. Oh, I shouldn't be talking about Kanye West right now. <laughs> but no man should have all that power. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I have more troops than him, right? I have way more troops. Let's go. How could there be more troops? We'll give it a good try. There we go. This we can take. Come on then, you bastard. My half brother. All right. Let's take golden obligations. And now, <laughs> let's make some money. I tried to blackmail my own wife. That's kind of mean. King Louis the Stammerer. And hey. Hedvig, whoever you are, Hedvig. Capital taken. Let's go for Saumur. Please tell me this works. Come on. Oh, that's not good. He figured me out. My son speaks Dutch through observation. Poor lad. We didn't mean to, to, to have him go through this. It's, it's an unhinged curse. I do not wish it upon anyone. Least my son. Crush every enemy we have. And that's my nephew taken. Very, very good. I am the Duke of Anju. Very, very good. Talk about moving up in the world. <laughs> Anju today... France tomorrow. Here we are in the lovely kingdom of France. And we'll right away modify our vassal contract, increase our taxes in return for guaranteed council rights. Very, very good. Now we can demand the council position of Spymaster. You were probably gonna give it to me anyways, but uh, better to assure it than to not have it all. How much to abduct you? Decent chance. What about your son? Better. All right. We avenged the death of our father and killed Hasty. We took our half-brother's duchy. And now we need to take France. West Francia, to be exact. <sighs> I know how to do this. We're currently in the stewardship focus. Golden obligation, it will give us money. But next time, we're picking meritocracy. Use claim throne scheme against our leech. With that, we will have a claim. And we will do it through an open revolt. But to make that open revolt more successful, we're gonna have to get some strong hooks. Duke Bernard of Toulouse, it is time for you to loose it up a bit and give me a strong hook. Very good. <laughs> I can also petition my leech. Please help my capital. Hey, very good. Oh, look at that. Huh? I think we just took Brittany. <laughs> Interesting. My half sister wants to come back. What? His insatiable sexual needs? Woman, this is outrageous. I'm gonna sneak you back home. I failed. Listen, I'll fix this one way or another. Just let me fix a hook first. Oh, and you're back. Welcome home. Oh, of course. They're still married. We can have you guys get divorced. Till death do us apart, you say? <laughs> 
All right. Tell you what. I'll do it through legit means. I'll kill the bastard later. Hey, you gotta take care of your little sisters, huh? But, uh, woman, you should probably take vows. Woman, let's find you a good husband. Brahim, <laughs> take care of her. Be nice. Wait, does that mean I have Brahim in my court? Brahim! Salam alaikum! Where are you from? Sagwa! Sagwa this nuts! <laughs> I'll pay back to get my dwarf. Old sister, come back. I have an idea. Marry this funny little dwarf. There you go. See, I hooked you up. Humbert, you might not be the spy master anymore, but you're welcome to live here. <laughs> All right, we got a weak hook, but a weak hook is better than no hook. Here we go. Meritocracy. Claim throne scheme. And that's exactly what we're gonna do once we have this perk. Now, let's go back to Skulldagger. I wanna get to twice scheme. That will let us have two hostile schemes running at the same time. Uh, one of them being that man asses and Gwilhem are plotting against each other. Man asses, what a, what a lovely name to have, huh? New liege! And my king absolutely loves me. Back to demanding my position. Let me be spy master, please. I'm not asking. <laughs> Let's get that claim. Claim throne. <laughs> a lot of people are willing to join. Perhaps when I start it, I won't have to even, you know, get people to join me. Uh, with hooks. I mean, they might just join me anyways. A lot of agents have joined, which is absolutely great. I guess I'll just push these to get money. And Robert, my son, has come of age. He's a proper warfighter. Compassionate, deceitful, and last... What are you, sir? Sir, you are absolutely wacko potato, you know? Th that's not a proper setup of traits. I will rule West Francia, whether you like it or not. My rival, you are a stupid, silly man with, with a stupid amount of troops. Oh, God. Well, then, I'm a claimant. Let me make a faction. Let's see if anyone wants to join. No, all right, that's uh, that's fine. No, <laughs> that's fine. How about I rebrand myself as a great person? Hey, I'm 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 a pious man. Mm? I've been to the Vatican. Talk about rebranding myself. Huh? My half sister comes along. Ah, I had to bring my sister with me, <gasps> but I became athletic. Hey, games. What? Are we going to a no? Am I going boosting with my sister? Oh God, this is too accurate to real life. <laughs> But I'm zealous. Listen, listen. Ma'am, we will not go to a tavern. Sorry, ma'am. As much as I like going boozing, this is about Jesus. The only thing we will drink is communion wine. And in moderation. Oh, that's really interesting. My leech is now someone else. People are joining me. Oh, the Snow Prince of Shalom. Ah, uh, yes. No, th this woman has no troops at all. Wait, is this the guy I killed? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> And King Louis died. Huh. King Louis Louis. Well then, first of all, I really, really deserve this. I mean, you didn't make the deal, but come on. Man. People are joining, which is great. Could we add more members? I still have my allies. Quite a few of them. Where are my allies, to be exact? Provence? Luxembourg? Lotharingia? Oh, he can still join. And Bourbon? They can all join. That's, that's bloody wonderful. Tell you what, we're gonna go for it. Fortune favors the bold. And if we don't start getting in here, she's gonna get a bunch of alliances. Now let's think. So we have a bit more than half of her troops. We're pretty much even. That's not good. That's not the overwhelming advantage I was hoping for. Now I feel kinda goofy for having married her off to a dwarf with no help. <laughs> we let this marinate for a little bit. Be smart. Who is your most powerful vassal? This guy. We get a hook on him, force him to join. Oh, oh, now it's a no-brainer. Now it is a no-brainer. We should honestly just go, but I'm scared. All right, no, no. Strange noises, no. I don't wanna die. No. Don't kill me. It's a surprise party by my half sister who I went pilgrimaging with. Give me a medium sized gift. A compendium of poisons. <laughs> my sister knows me best her, doesn't she? Very nice. Oh, that's a great artifact. Look at it. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. All right, talking about that. Press the demands. It is time to fight the war it is. All right. Let's see if we can get our allies in on this one too. I have the prestige, so why not? My friends, my friends, you are all welcome to join. You get nothing in return. Very good. Raise the lads. We're going to war. Hurrah. Down with the French traitors. Here we go. Do I lead them? No. Brahim. <laughs> Who I took him to take care of my half sister. He will lead. He's a great general. Brahim, make us proud. Kill the Frenchman. Crush him. The Battle of Drux. Woohoo! Go for their capital. Seize the means. What? The Northmen? Not the Northmen. And King Louis is attacking her too. For what? Oh, what? what? My niece is ew. What What kind of sick secrets do you guys have? I was expecting like, you know, oh, I'm a cannibal or something. But no, this is on a different level. My golly god. Gee, we are winning. But alas, if we could take out the Vikings while we still have support, that'd be great. No, wife died. Tell you what, I'll, I'll keep off from marrying just yet. All right, luckily this will work. 
That's not enough troops, is it? Tell you what, kill this man. We slay him, that's gonna fix everything. And while we're at it, uh, kill his son too. Come on. Give me the kingdom. Give me the kingdom. For heaven. We took it. I am the king of West Francia. Huzzah. Huzzah. I did it. Hang the banner. Now, uh, we have a problem. And a serious one at that. We're being attacked by literally everyone. Stop! How on earth are we gonna face against them? Get an alliance. The strongest alliance I can get. Balaton, this you fat bastard. Stop eating. The Duke of Bohemia. That will do. Kings to the seventh generation. The calling dynasty has come to an end. And the kingdom of West Francia is now called France. I did it! And it only took me 32 years. <laughs> now let me just secure this. And I will consider this challenge completed. I do look like the Burger King King though. <laughs> Fix the council. Do I have anyone more I could call in? They're fighting. Uh, who do I focus on? Oh, no. This is bad. Wait. No, there's no holy orders. We need them. All right. We'll call in our ally. Call in the allies for everything. All right. Who do we focus on? Think, think, think. This is for one county. I can lose that. But losing the entirety of that? That would create the Normans. Oh, a problem. A big problem. Fighting him is a death sentence. We'll have to hold the capital here. I can convince the spy master. It's gonna be costly, right? But I'll do it. We'll have to deal with this with the tiny blade. The large blade. As soon as we kill this viking bastard. His claim should go away. And he's afraid. He's afraid of me. We let this man take it. Actually, could we stomp him? We for allies, we probably could. We have to focus on the things at hand. Let them fight. The bohemians should be clear any time now. Oh, but they're getting... Reinforcements, no! Alright, that's it. We're pivoting. We're gonna stop the Normandy war. Let the tiny blade do what the large blade can't. Also, run! Run for God's sake! And kill him! Kill him! Oh, I got him! Who takes over the horde? A little boy? I'll kill him too. No, I can't because I quit. No, I'm so stupid, stupid, stupid! But wait, he barely has any troops! Turn around again! We can crush him! He's weaker! He's so much weaker! Get him! We will fight him here! Oh, praise be Jesus, let us win! Win. Praise be Jesus! Stop the Viking menace! Come on, Brahim! Brahim! No! We're losing! Where's the Bohemians? Where's the Bohemians? It was such a solid idea. We could have done it. All right, lads, meet up. We're crushing these guys. We're gonna have to juggle these wars. Who the heck are you? Don't you police him? Well, that doesn't seem like a threat to us. <laughs> That's a bit too far away. <laughs> are you not dead yet? Pay the man anything he wants. We need that man killed. Pile in, pile in! The Battle of La Haye! Go, 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 go! All right, that's them crushed. Send them back to God. Let him sort them out. Now, we will pivot away from Skaldagri and go into the Marshall Tree. We're focusing on strategy. We need to win these battles and we need to win them fast. Assault the fort. Let it cost as many troops as it costs. White piece. Oh, come on. It's beneficial to you. You should accept it. Kill him. Please kill him. No! Crap! Shucks! All right, pivot back up. We're taking out the Vikings. Come on! Why am I doing a war game? Why am I- I'm, I'm- I'm pretending to be in a siege? Bro, you should look outside, man. We are under siege! I improve my defense, that's good. Considering, you know, we're under attack by everyone! Oh, we give him a snake? Please tell me that kills him. All right, we have to we have to go for the Vikings. Come on, Viking warfare, Viking, take him out. The thing about these hosts is that it's all they have. Now kill ha kill him, kill Haukur. Goodbye. <laughs> all right, that's it. Go in. Please let this be enough. Crush. Go, catch him. Catch them all. Get him. Yes. Stop the Vikings. Ooh. All right, who do we need to kill? This little boy, I can't kill him yet. Oh my God, I, dude. War juggling. Take him out. Take him out. Stop the Vikings. Kill this man. Kill Rudolf. No. Kill him again. Is that enough? The Battle of Dijon. I love Dijon mustard. There we go. Is that enough to white peace? No. He's going for my capital. Run. Oh, you bastard. Don't you take. No. He took my book. That I was a gift from my sister. Oh, you dog. Wait. How is the war not over? Oh, that's it. I'll murder all of you. But the British are coming. Oh, we need their help. Oh, thank Lord. Oh, thank the Lord. One war gone. All right. That's one enemy defeated. Let's go for the next one. Let's go. Let's go. Crush him up. Grind him into a fine powder and sniff it. I become a holy warrior. And I take you, you Viking dogs. Lastly. 
this stupid revolution. I am the new leader of the Frenchman. You cannot stop me. Now, Jesus Christ, give me back my, give me my artifact. Who took it? Where is my artifact? Oh, I, I got it back. Oh, that's good. Oof, I thought I lost it. You're gonna make a fine rug. I'm gonna make you into a rug. You hear me? Crush, crush, crush. You stupid Vikings. You think you can raid? Here we go. Now we just need to catch them once more. No, it's the people of Montaigu. No, it cannot be. The last breath of the Hasting people. We will siege down Montaigu easily. Here we go. The lands of Hasting, huh? Old and stinky. Is this really what we're doing? Fighting a one county area? You're leaving your back door. It's so silly. So stupid. Enforce demands. And now we finish up. By ransoming all these unruly people. Eh? You thought just because there's a new leader in town? Now that we're rebranded as the French? We will be weak? No, quite opposite. We are strong. You are weak. Disband the army. And just like that, I have completed the mission. Not only have I managed to avenge the death of my father by killing Hasty, but I've also become the king of France. As King Eudes, the first of the Capets. My succession is safe with Prince Robert the One-Eyed Bastard. I rule with an iron fist, a hidden dagger in the shadows, and a mighty army of allies coming to protect me. At every whim, I am King Eudes of France. Now that was the first of many, many, many adventures that we have in this series. Once again, we will be doing every starting character that are in the start dates. Hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And the next one is something you do not want to miss. Because we are going somewhere absolutely crazy. A real adventure. We are going to Africa. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay French, my dudes. Yeet!